Hello, my name is Dr. Jay Gottlieb and I'm a board certified dermatologist here at Miramar Dermatology Skin and Cancer Associates. Let's talk about shingles, also known as herpes zoster. It is caused by a virus that's known as varicella. Varicella is the same virus that causes chickenpox. Children today receive immunization against chickenpox. Therefore, we suspect when they get older, they'll have a less chance of having herpes zoster or shingles. Patients who are at risk, elderly patients, patients who are immunosuppressed, should undergo the varicella zoster vaccine. This can be obtained through your family doctor many times or through the health department. But let's talk a little bit about what shingles is. It's caused by a virus, the chickenpox virus, that the patient usually gets as a child and it lays dormant within a nerve for years. And something then happens that triggers the virus to activate. And what ends up happening is the patient will start to feel discomfort in that nerve area. Typically it's on the trunk, but it can be on the face. It can involve the ear or it can involve the eye and cause some serious problems if not treated in a, uh, in a, in a quick fashion. When a patient presents many times, they'll present just with pain, and a lot of times they don't go to their dermatologist. If it's on the chest area, they may in fact think they're having a heart attack and go to the emergency room. Of course, at that time, all the patient has is pain, and there are no external uh, symptoms. So in the emergency room, the patient will be evaluated for a heart attack, found that everything is okay, and sent home. Usually 24 to 48 hours later, the patient will start developing red, tender areas with blisters following that nerve root coming out of the spinal cord. Many times it'll start around the back and then go around the flank and come to all the way around to the front of the body. If it's in the scalp, it may start within the scalp and then follow the nerve down to the forehead and toward the eye. Once the diagnosis is made, and it becomes clear that in fact the patient has shingles, there is an antiviral treatment that we institute. Typically, we use uh, acyclovir or valcyclovir. Depending on which medication we use, we will use it in varying doses for up to seven to 10 days. Patients that have shingles occasionally will develop a recurrence of shingles in the same area. If you think you have shingles, make sure you see a board certified dermatologist as soon as possible. The sooner the antiviral medication is started, the less symptomatic the patient becomes. It shortens the severity and the duration of the disease. I hope that I've answered a few questions about shingles. There's other areas here on our website that go into more detail. If you think you may have shingles, you should see a board certified dermatologist. If you'd like to be seen in our office, you can call our office and make an appointment. You can click on the Contact Us button and request an appointment and one of our front office staff will call and set up a time. It also would be helpful for you to click the Register Here tab and register and fill out your paperwork online and therefore you'll spend less time in our reception area and more time in the exam room in consultation with, with me. Thank you very much for coming to the Miramar Dermatology website. I hope to see you in our office.